Actually, we have a five-year undergrad education uh, to become a pharmacist. So once you become a pharmacist, you will be able to work either in the hospital or in the community or in the, uh, some of the institutional governmental uh, agencies and stuff like that. So you don't need to have a, a, a special education to be an oncology pharmacist. But once you're in a practice, you have to, to get along with these continuing professional development educations and courses and stuff like that. So you will be able to work in the oncology pharmacy. You have to train yourself by attending the conferences and educational events and everything. So in Turkey, once you started to work in an oncology pharmacy, uh, you have to definitely keep up with the, the recent literature and what's going on in the world. So you have to follow the um, international and the national organizations events. So in Turkey, uh, especially the Tuket, Turkish Hospital Pharmacist Association uh, took the lead for education of oncology pharmacy and we already done um, two different workshops for oncology pharmacists for two days. We already had more than 200 pharmacists attended this workshop, so which was quite good for oncology pharmacists to get to know what's going on in the world as well as in, in the local practice. So. What the oncology pharmacists do in Turkey, they can be based on the pharmacy, so they can be uh, handling with the compounding of chemotherapeutics, but a few pharmacists also do the world's round, such as a clinical pharmacy practice, so they can be involved in the patient care process as well. But it's recently, you know, evolved in Turkey at the moment, so oncology pharmacy practice is really good for, in terms of compounding and preparing drugs and stuff like that, but for the clinical part, it's recently evolving and you know, gradually increasing in the practice at the moment. Recently, the immunotherapeutics and targeted therapy is quite uh, on the practice, uh, so, and it's quite expensive drugs. Sometimes we will not be able to find the drugs that we wanted to have in our hospital, so it depends the remuneration, so if the government is not going to pay for that, so you will not be able to reach the drugs. But apparently, apart from that, we have the standards. We follow the standards, international standards for uh, drug compounding. We have the good service for compounding for oncology practice. Um, so these are not the challenges, but the main challenges, I think, for the clinical side at the moment because we are trying to adapt ourselves into the clinic and try to get to know the physicians as well as the nurses to work together. I think, I assume that, I think that would be the main problem at the moment. Otherwise, you know, uh, as an oncology pharmacist, you are well appreciated in the hospital what you are doing and what you are trying to achieve.